Thank you. Thank you very much. I see somebody got sidetracked. They're way over there. <laughs> well, thank you. It's a great pleasure. The Halle School Band. The Chattanooga Christian School Combination Band. There are members of the Cherokee Area Council of the Boy Scouts here today. I'm here to celebrate the graduation of the public. I have two graduates of an... Over the past decade, the schools of the Chattanooga area and all of Tennessee have made great strides in improving the... It's not what goes in, but what comes out. Not how much money is spent or how new the buildings are, but how well students read what's we're coming out and I'm going to have lunch and talk with a few of them. But I know that quality is something schools throw that I have to get in this car now and get on with the busy schedule that's been lined up. But this is a great honor that you've done me and I'm very grateful and I see that sign about my roommate Nancy, yes, I, that you bid her welcome also. Thank you all again, God bless you all.
Actually, I'm somewhat familiar with your customs here, especially your unique forms of dancing. I've noticed in the Oval Office when Howard Baker doesn't agree with something I've said, but doesn't exactly want to say, no, you're wrong. Before I came out here, I met with a group of your teachers. All of them have received Laura and the Brock Memorial Grants for excellence in teaching. I brought along with me someone who had outstanding teachers everywhere shared. A spirit that hasn't changed over all these years. But I suspect it hasn't changed since the ancient Greek times when Socrates was teaching. No, I didn't take any classes with Socrates. <laughs> Quietly standing back and smiling when Hartford finally paid off. Graduation is your greater high. constitutional right to sell pro-drug propaganda to minors. <laughs> but parents and communities have a right, indeed they have a common good. This school system is testimony to every farm, every factory, every store, every home across our land is a monument to men and women who took into their hands the clay of America's opportunity and shaped it to their dreams. When I was inaugurated the first time, I told a story. It's about a young man, Martin Treptow. There in the Western Front, he died trying to carry a message between battalions under the heavy artillery fire. On his body, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure, I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost, as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. I want to say something about yesterday's incident in the Persian Gulf. This track. Thank you. 
life. They were our sons and brothers, our buddies and loved ones. In death, they are our heroes. Too often, Americans are called upon to keep their lives in the cause of world peace and freedom. Yet our glorious need is that we do devote ourselves to those causes, not to conquest, not to territory, not to supremacy, but to peace and freedom. In memory of those who gave their lives out to render the flags be lowered to death mass. This land of freedom lives and grows stronger because the spirit of devotion and sacrifice that lived in Martin Trepto has lived in the hearts of free men, including the men of the start through the ages. I know that you will be able to do it. just show them. Let it shine like a great light. Don't hide it under a basket. Lift it high so that its brightness will fill the land and is a beacon to the world. I know that lately there's been kind of a tone of cynicism in our land, friends, and make the way of the strange land. There is so much for us to be proud of in the country that they have built. The good that is done. Last year we broke all the records in our history. Thank <laughs> you. 